Uh, certainly one of the things, Sarah, that they're not spending on is travel, and we are getting some headlines on American Airlines. For that, we'll head to Phil LeBeau. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Carl. Let's take a look at shares of American, the company dropping in 8K, outlining the elimination of 40,000 jobs in the company starting on October 1st. Now, some of these they've already uh, outlined, but we've got a number of these figures here. We're going to work our way through them. 125 or 12,500 employees will take an early retirement package. 11,000 are taking voluntary leave. And then you've got 19,000 jobs that are being cut. Of this, 17,500 are frontline employees who will be furloughed. Two big groups within that, the flight attendants. 30% of the American flight attendants starting October 1st will be furloughed. That comes out to 8,100 flight attendants. Of the 15,000 pilots at American, 1,600, roughly speaking, 1,600 or 11% will be furloughed. Again, 19,000 jobs will be cut on October 1st. As part of the announcement today, American CEO uh, Doug Parker, along with President Robert Isom, out with a note saying, we must prepare for the possibility that our nation's leadership will not be able to find a way to further support aviation professionals and the service we provide, especially to smaller communities. This is in reference to the Discussions in Washington about another CARES Act relief package of $25 billion, John. If that were to go through, then these jobs that they're saying will be cut on October 1st, well, those employees would stay on the payroll through the end of March. And while there is bipartisan support for another $25 billion for the airlines, that's only if we see a stimulus package. And a lot of people are saying, what's the odds of that happening before October 1st? John, back to you.